Hello. I pray that you are well today. The Word of God from 2 Timothy chapter 2. Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments because you know they produce quarrels. You'll find that in 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy, again and again and again, the same theme comes up. He actually says to Timothy, be careful what you argue about. So I ask you the question, what do you argue about? What do you want to discuss? He says, don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments. Why? Because they, you know, they produce quarrels. In other words, there's no benefit from them. If it isn't something that comes back and we can point people back to the Word of God, we simply are stirring up people unnecessarily. And he goes on to say, And the Lord's servant, as we serve God, must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone. We ought not be in the business of quarreling or having unnecessary arguments. Must be kind, and in fact, not just kind, able to teach, that is, able to speak what is true and not resentful. Because ultimately, arguments produce resentment. They produce pain, they produce difficulties, they produce uh, disconnection from people. Therefore, he says, don't have anything to do with them. Don't have anything to do with those things because you know they produce further quarrels. And he goes on to say, opponents, that's those who disagree, must be gently instructed, must be carefully taught, this is what this means, this is what this says, in the hope that God will grant them repentance leading to a knowledge of the truth. The intention is that we hope that opponents will be receive it. How are they gonna receive it? How they're talked to, how they're spoken to, how they receive information matters, must be gently instructed in the hope, in the desire. It doesn't always work, but the intention is that God will grant them repentance according to a knowledge of the truth. And verse 26, and that they will come to their senses, that they'll wake up, they'll come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil who has taken them captive to do his will. In other words, a quarrel is a hole that people fall into. He goes on to say, don't have anything to do with these things. Why? Because these arguments, the foolish and stupid arguments, because they produce quarrels. Have you ever had an argument and it didn't produce anything beneficial? You argued or disagreed about something that wasn't really helpful or useful. But in fact, God says in the opposite, our kindness to one another, our ability to teach, our not bearing a grudge and being resentful, opens a door that prayerfully will help them, as the phrase says, and they will come to their senses. Have you ever been around someone who just comes to their senses? I finally see it now. I see it clearly. Then he can escape from the trap of the devil who's taking them captive. So I ask you the question, what do you argue about? It doesn't mean that we won't disagree. It means how we disagree matters. How you disagree matters. How I disagree matters. So that people may come to their senses and see things. This is what the Apostle Paul is saying on how, how do you argue? And what's the goal of it? Is the goal of it just to be right? Or is the goal of it for understanding, for relationship, for honoring God? That's what he's asking. Please pray with me. Lord God, we pray that you would give us wisdom and that we would not fall into the trap, the trap that so easily causes people to lose perspective. We pray that you would use us in our relationships kindly and gently to help people come to their senses for your grace and your mercy. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.